Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we'll continue discussion on distance metrics. In previous video, we looked at uh, distances such as Euclidean, Manhattan, and Mahalanobis. In this video, we'll look at our 2D vector spaces and integer valued vector spaces. So the very first is our sign distance. So if you uh, remember if we are trying to calculate distance in us uh, between two data points that are in a st in a straight line uh, we are familiar with calculating the Euclidean distance however now imagine uh, two data points that are on surface of a sphere and if you are trying to calculate the distance between two these two data points uh, along the surface of the sphere which is going to be is going to have some sort of uh, curved uh, length attached to it then uh, in those cases we would use something called as a Haversine distance and on the figure on the left hand side here we can see uh, uh, imagine that's the planet earth and we have two locations uh, one is in at uh, these latitude longitude in Antarctica and the other one is in Greenland and if we try to calculate the uh, distance along uh, between these two points along the surface of earth then we would use something we will use the Haversine distance to calculate that and it is given by this relation shown here in blue as well as uh, the equation shown below it uh, and so when we calculate this distance in we get output here in radians which is 2.8024 radians and when we convert it to kilometers or miles we get around 18,000 kilometers or around 11,000 miles and on down here in the box we have the code for calculating the distance so uh, uh, when we specify we, when we create the variable distance dist we need to specify the have sign in the get underscore matrix method that we call now let's look at uh, integer valued vector spaces and the first one is Hamming distance and what it does is it tries to find the inequality so if we have a uh, set of integers x and y and if we try to if we want to find the diff distance Hamming distance between these two sets of data then we would uh, see that uh, both these uh, uh, x both x and y have one three and four however the uh, only x has two and it's not present in y so that's unequal and so what we want to do is get the unequal counts and divide it by total count so here the unequal is one and so we have one here and the total numbers are four so we have four and so the distance would be some divided by total so one divided by four and we get 2.5 and so here is the below in the box we have the code to calculate the same uh, Hamming distance uh, in uh, another example of where we can use a Hamming distance is to calculate distance between uh, different words so let's say we have three words mango tango and apple now if we convert this string to binary we get an uh, array like this as shown here on the right hand side and for tango word we get this particular binary array and here if we uh, go through each column and see if it if both of them match if they do not match i'm flagging them by this tick mark and here we see that these only these three uh, columns do not match else everything matches so uh, for numerator uh, our number is 3 and for denominator these are 35 columns and so we have 35 and when we calculate the distance it would be 3 divided by 35 is equal to 0 0.0857 and so uh, that's the timing distance of the word mango to tango and that is w1 to w2 and that's also shown here in the box and here uh, here we have the code in python where which uh, creates the uh, binary array and reshapes it and then that is used as an input to the distance metric uh, command 
and where it calculates the Hamming distance. Now, if we can also calculate the distance from mango to apple, so let's look at this here. Now, because the word mango and apple have different uh, characters in it, we see that the inequalities are much higher, and so uh, these tick marks we have 13 of them, and the total number of uh, columns is still the same. So we have 0 0.374 as the final distance and thus we can see that uh, the distance so we can see that the distance of uh, mango to tango is 0 0.08 and distance from mango to apple is 0 0.37 so maybe this could be used as uh, finding the similarity between words uh, uh, by this method and here now we have the canberra distance so for this distance this is it is given by this relation shown up here which is the difference um, or absolute difference between x and y divided by the uh, difference uh, by the sum of more absolute x and absolute y and so for these two data points we have a uh, 4 minus 1 divided by absolute value of 4 plus absolute value of 1 and same thing here for the y coordinates and so the distance is 0 0.933 and down here we have the code to calculate the Canberra distance and here we have the output is also 0 0.933 and, and next we have the Bray Curtis distance it is similar to the distance that we saw earlier so in Canberra distance we have the denominator where we are uh, getting the absolute value first and then adding it here we are adding them first and then taking the absolute value uh, so uh, again here the distance then calculated comes out to 0 0.4545 and this is the code here where we need to specify the Bray Curtis uh, that is the distance that needs to be used and here is the output that was it for this video I hope in this video you got an intuition about uh, what is the Haver sign distance Ray Curtis distance, Hamming distance and the next video will continue this discussion and look at some boolean distance measurement techniques. Please like, share and subscribe. I hope to see you all in next video. Thank you.